Look at this lovely tomato. I'm a fan. This is the first reddish one that I've picked. Um, still has to ripen up some, but I decided to do that picking now. And, <coughs> excuse me, I have several tomatoes that are kind of getting close. And uh, on each row, there's a few. I need to be careful where I step because look, ah, there's a melon. Anyhow, uh, here's a couple. I'd almost guarantee those are either the tulas. I think those are the tulas. Um, let's wander around. Bear with me, folks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's happening with this tomato plant, but it's it's on the move. Uh, lots and lots and lots of beans. That's not too exciting. But you know what is exciting? That, right there. That is about the size of a average baby's head to use the standard scale system. And it will get the size of a bushel basket as uh, its name would. A lot of yellow tomatoes here. Oh, there's a good one. Right there. Yellow tomato. Happy times. There's a couple down at the bottom here. So, oh, and there, too. Not bad. Not bad. Um, this is kind of funny. See this pumpkin right here? Back up for you. Um, that's definitely the size of my head. And it moved. These, these spots here uh, with these vines have actually shifted it out a little bit so that's pretty impressive I think what else we got um, lots of these not hot jalapenos which I think are delicious I'm definitely gonna pick several of them here I do have some butternut squash there's not a ton of them but that's okay because I still have a lot left from last year. Here's another one. I think last year there was a point where I counted all the butternut squash and there was like 20 some. But I'm okay with not having 20 some. Any around behind the door? No. Sweet potatoes are definitely doing well. They're crawling nicely. I still have to pull out a lot of these uh, tomato plants. Holy schmoly! How did that get by me? Look at the size of this cucumber! Holy man! Get off of there! Okay, gonna need two hands. How's that for a cucumber, my friends? I don't know, honestly. I think this was supposed to be a pickler. <laughs> it's gonna be a little too big for that. Um, I saw another one in here. It's kind of stumpy. They have a funky color. I wonder what that's all about. Another one there. Another big one here. I, I honestly, I don't know how I missed these. But, uh, they're big, orangey-ish cucumbers. Um, what else is back here? Oh, there's a good size acorn squash. And then I'll let you guys go. And here it is. It's like store sized almost. And I'm pretty happy with that. And there's there's more melons coming. Seems like I'm gonna have a good melon crop this year. A whole whole camp of melons. You get it? Did you catch that? There were two deer. Right here. That's uh bold. Anyhow, yeah, they're still back in the woods. So I talked about 
the uh, bushel barrel, bushel gourd thingies, and uh, how it was sort of growing up the side. But I didn't realize it was actually growing out the side too. And when I was mowing, this is when I discovered it. So I think um, this is definitely going to be an attractor of things like those deer. And so uh, I'm going to take a look and see if it's easy to flop this inside. Otherwise, you know, get a good old pruning. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, it's growing through the fence and not over it exactly. So I'm going to cut um, this chunk out of here which is okay because it looks like this is going to be the main gourd that I get out of it. It's actually just nicely sitting on the pipe I use for drip line storage. Um, so that'll be good. I'll let that get big. There, I went ahead and pulled off the poke berries that it was attached to and threw it in the compost here. Um, I'll let it dry out before I uh, turn it in, um, but it's important to do a couple things there. One was really make sure that I get the poke berries off of it so I don't have that growing in the uh, in the compost. And the other piece um, found that a lot of times with the plants, when I prune them, I throw them in the rows, but with stuff like that, you know, you just sort of drop it where you where you pulled it. Um, with that, I don't want to drop it where I pulled it because it's just going to be attracting the deer and other things that think it's food and and lead them along because um, they most likely will find it before it ends up being uh, uh, completely dried out. So, the garden's doing pretty well. <laughs> 